Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss a question of biochemistry asked in the Ames May 2018 examination. This is the 12th question in the Ames May 2018 series. And let's read the question. The question was, all the following statements about phenylketonuria are true, except and the first option that was given to us was that mental retardation is common. Albinism and white patches of skin can occur due to deficiency of tryptophan. Phenyl acetate is excreted in urine. And the last option was that it occurs due to the deficiency of in the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase. So let's discuss what this disease phenylketonuria is about. What are the two statements related in to phenylketonuria in these four statements and what is a false statement? So now phenylketonuria occurs because of the deficiency of the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase. This enzyme is absent. In a normal human body, phenylalanine is an essential amino acid. It's taken in the diet. As you can see, there's a phenyl group and this is the alanine part of it, hence the name phenylalanine. So phenylalanine is taken in the diet. It's converted by the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase into tyrosine. And this is a hydroxyl group you can see that has been attached. This reaction takes place with the help of the enzyme phenylalanine oxidase along with a cofactor in the form of the vitamin biotin. Now what happens in PKU or phenylketonuria is that this enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase is absent. This form of phenylketonuria is known as the classical, the classical variant of the phenylketonuria. In another form of the variant phenylketonuria is instead of the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase being absent, there is a decrease in the activity of the enzyme because dihydrobiopterin reductase is this is decreased. Hence, the cofactor for this enzyme is decreased, and hence the features of phenylketonuria are also there. Now we'll discuss the pathogenesis of phenylketonuria, and the entire pathogenesis of phenylketonuria can be explain for this with the help of this diagram now what happens is that since phenylalanine cannot this phenylalanine cannot be converted into tyrosine phenylalanine accumulates in the body and its concentration in the blood increases now when in, there is an increased concentration of phenylalanine in the body there is something known as l n a a or large neutral amino acid transporter present in the blood brain barrier. The function of this large neutral amino acid transporter is that it transports as you can as you know the large neutral amino acid. Now what happens since phenylalanine is increase has an increased concentration of blood because it's not being converted into tyrosine it saturates it saturates this receptor and it saturates this transporter and since this transporter is saturated other amino acids are not being able to transport it into the brain and this results in the first clinical feature of phenylketonuria that is the mental retardation the second clinical feature of phenylketonuria can be discussed with the fact that since phenylalanine is increased and it's not being converted into tyrosine it gets diverted into other pathways and since it gets diverted into other pathways, it results in formation of products such as phenyl pyruvic acid, phenyl acetic acid, or phenyl lactic acid. Now, what's important is this phenyl, this phenyl acetic acid. It's important because this phenyl acetic acid is responsible for the characteristic musty odor of urine in PKU patients. So phenyl acetic acid increases because phenylalanine is getting diverted into other pathways and not getting converted into tyrosine and phenyl acetic acid is excreted into urine and this gives it the characteristic musty odor. Now since phenylalanine is not being converted into tyrosine the amount of tyrosine in the body decreases and tyrosine in effect becomes an essential amino acid. Not Tyrosine, since it has decreased, there will be a decreased conversion of decreased conversion of tyrosine into melanin. Hence, it, even in phenylketonuria, albinism or at least white patches 
of skin or hair can occur because tyrosine is decreased because phenylalanine is not being converted into tyrosine this results in in turn results in a decreased production of melanin as you can see since melanin is synthesized from tyrosine by the enzyme tyrosinase so we have discussed the three clinical features of phenylketonuria the first one being mental retardation it occurs because phenylalanine increases it uh, saturates the large neutral amino acid transported amino acids are not being transported into brain mental retardation the second feature is the musty urine odor because of presence of phenyl acetic acid in urine and the third one is this that since phenyl melanin decreases there is white patches or albinism because tyrosine formation decreases now how do we diagnose this phenylketonuria now mental retardation in phenylketonuria can easily be prevented if we do not give phenylalanine as you can see all the pathogenic effects of phenylketonuria occur because of an increase in phenylalanine so if we do not give phenylalanine to a person suffering from phenylketonuria we can prevent the development of mental retardation in that child hence it's very important to screen all the newborns for phenylketonuria and the screening of for phenylketonuria in the in the infancy and in the early neonatal tick period can be done with the help of two methods either it can be the guthrie bacterial inhibition test or the tandem mass spectrometry in the guthrie bacterial inhibition test we use bacillus subtilis now bacillus subtilis is grown in an agar and this agar contains an inhibitor of phenylalanine and to this agar blood of a child who is suffering from phenylketonuria is added since the blood of a child who has phenylketonuria has an increased amount of phenylalanine it will overcome the inhibition by the phenylalanine inhibitor and this in turn will result in growth increased growth of bacillus subtilis so bacillus subtilis will grow in presence of phenylalanine if excess amount of phenylalanine is present in the blood of a newborn child and the second method is the tandem mass spectrophotometry another question that has been actually asked in the last aims november 2000 pg entrance examination is that from where is this blood collected for this tms or guthri bacterial inhibition so it's it's essentially collected from the heel of the newborn so heel of the newborn and uh, heel prick test is essentially done for diagnosis of pku or inborn error of metabolism now what is the treatment of pku as i've already told the entire pathogenesis of pku is dependent upon increased phenylalanine in the body so simple patho uh, treatment of phenylketonuria is that you limit the diet limited diet of phenylalanine in the body you limit phenylalanine in the diet men mental retardation does not take place in turn mental retardation takes place because of saturation of l n n a a transporter by phenylalanine so you give the large neutral amino acid in order to overcome that saturation the next important part is that in case of variant phenylketonuria or even normal phenylketonuria you can give biotin which will in turn which since it's a cofactor it will increase the activity of the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase another important point is that you do not give diet coke to that person this is something that can be asked in your future aims examination because aims has a tendency to ask things from normal day to day life as you can see the diet coke contains something known as aspartame aspartame is the artificial sweetener and aspartame is made up of aspartic acid and phenylalanine since it has phenylalanine this warning is given in all diet coke and you can see it for yourself that phenylketonurics should not be given diet coke and it's not for phenylketonurics and you should start the treatment very early in the infancy in the neonatal period in order to prevent the development of mental retardation now let's discuss some question that been asked in previous entrance examination the first question is mousy odor in urine is due to phenylalanine phenyl acetate phenyl butazone and phenyl acetyl glutamine as you can all see there is an increased phenylalanine in the blood in cases of pku however phenylalanine is not responsible for the mousy or the musty odor it's phenyl acetate which is in turn formed from phenylalanine that is responsible for the mousy odor now what is the main aim of therapy in pku this has been asked in the aims 2010 examination whether it's replacement of the defective enzyme well it's replacement of the defection product limiting the substrate of the enzyme or giving the missing amino acid remember the most important thing that you can do in case of phenylketonuria is limit phenylalanine in the diet so the answer becomes 3 
Replacement of defective enzyme. This is done in case of Gaucher's disease. And replacement of deficient product and give the missing amino acid is not done in case of an alkylinemia. Now let's discuss the actual question that was asked. Which of the following statement is true? Except so it's basically asking which of the following statement is false. Mental retardation is common. Yes, this is a true statement. Phenyl acetate is excreted in urine. Yes, this is also a true statement. And this is what is responsible for the mousy odor. It occurs due to the deficiency of the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase. Yes, this is also a true statement. And the correct answer or the false statement is that it occurs that albinism and the white patches occur due to the deficiency of tryptophan. No, this is a false statement. Melanin is synthesized with the help of tyrosinase and tyrosin not tryptophan hence this becomes the false statement and the correct answer to this question hi so i hope you guys enjoyed my video please subscribe to my channel if you want such further updates on the aims may 2018 paper i'll be discussing one or two questions of the paper every day share it with your friends who you think might benefit from these videos so thank you and have a nice day.